Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing? I am good. I am excited to be back home. Happy to see you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I have my volume on on my iPad. Hello Lacey and Alexis. We are making walleye today. It's going to be so good. My friend Brief brought fresh walleye to the house for us to pan fry. Hello, Sandy, Kareen, Tanner, Heather, Sarah. Hello, hello, you guys. Uh, make sure you get your shares out there. Remember, the more people watching, the more giveaways we get to do. 40, 80, 120 live views. Um, it was a giveaway for each. Hello, Kareen and Heather, Angela, Vivian, Megan. Hello. Bree, how are you? Kelly, Shelby, Tanya, Tisha, how is everyone? You guys get those shares out there so that we can do a bunch of giveaways today. Azuzina, hello, how are you guys doing? I am back home, it's nice to be back home. I am ready to cook dinner. I've been being really lazy lately and we've been doing um, a lot of frozen foods around the house, so I am glad to be doing some fresh fish tonight. Hello, Patsy from North Carolina. Deb, hello. How are you guys? Jason and Crystal, how are you? Don't forget to share the video, you guys. And remember, you do need to be present to win. And I do pull names randomly um, during the show so that the people that jump on at the end of the show just to win the giveaway might miss the opportunity because you do need to like and leave a reaction on the post before I pull the names randomly to get entered in to win. Hello, Deborah, Gina, Brandon, hello, you guys. Yes, walleye is really yummy. If you haven't heard of it before, um, it's a very white, very um, uh, subtle tasting fish. I'm not into fishy tasting fish, and so walleye is really, really good for that, especially when you do stuff like pan fry it, deep fry it, things like that, because it really takes on whatever flavor um, that you decide to cook with it. So. I got all of my shares out there. I hope you guys did too. Thank you, Deb, you're so sweet. Hello, Janet, Jasmine, Thelma, hello. How are you, Liz, Deborah, Mandy? Hello, you guys, welcome. Happy Sunday. I know Sundays is usually dessert or breakfast, um, but my friend Brie had some walleye and we needed to cook it up, so we decided to do some fish today instead. My light is driving me crazy, it's like pulsing. And it's driving my eyeballs a little bonkers. I don't either. I mean, and I'm sure most people don't want their fish to taste fishy. But some people prefer um, fish that have a stronger flavor to them. Um, I don't like salmon because of that. Um, um, things like catfish. I just try to stay away from because I am a big baby when it comes to fish and seafood. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. It is a new shirt that I got while I was in Arizona shopping with my mom. Um, hello, Betty, how are you? I'm glad you love fish. We are gonna get started. I'm so excited, you guys. My coating trays from Pampered Chef came while I was gone, actually. Um, so I'm super excited to use them instead of trying to use my makeshift um, <laughs> different uh, pans and bowls in my house instead. Um, what I also love about it is it comes with these to be able to hold on to your chicken or your fish instead of getting your fingers all dirty. You guys know that I am infamous for that. I get my fingers all gross and cakey and then I have to spend five minutes washing them off. So I am happy that we don't have to deal with that today. I'm gonna grab out a plate to put our um, walleye once it has been breaded. Um, you want about a pound of walleye for this recipe. And Crystal, that just sounds crazy, red and dark meat off of fish. That's funny. Yay, I'm so glad, Lynn. I'm glad you got your gift. Hello, Maureen, how are you? So we're gonna get started. You want about a pound of walleye. Um, you can use whatever fish you want for this recipe if you want um, your pan fried breaded fish. Uh, we are just gonna use fresh walleye from um, North Dakota. So local is best, you guys. Hello, Brent and Kayla, Rachel, hello. So we are gonna get out our three um, coating trays 
and we are going to start and put our ingredients in each one. So what we want to start off with is flour, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and pepper in one. So we want to do a cup of flour in our first coating tray. If you don't have a coating tray, um, I like to use pie pans are really, really helpful for um, coating chicken and fish and stuff like that so that you don't have to um, try and come up with what dish you're gonna put all of your ingredients into. So we've got our flour in here. Then you want a teaspoon of each of the seasonings. Um, I am, instead of using saltine crackers today, I'm gonna be using um, Ritz crackers and they actually make um, their own coating mix. Um, which I really like because we love Ritz crackers and we don't want to sacrifice our Ritz crackers to make our coating. So you can actually buy it pre-packaged. And what I like about it is they do come in flavors. Hello, Chanel and Cece. Yes, Selma, I will order you a can opener. Hello, Katie. How are you? Amy and Danielle and Katie, welcome, you guys. So what I like is Ritz has these. Um, because I'm using a garlic butter flavoring, I'm actually not going to put any um, garlic powder in my flour, but you guys will want to if you're using saltine crackers or regular Ritz crackers. You're going to want that garlic um, powder in there. So we're going to do a teaspoon of each of the seasonings. So a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of paprika, um, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. Um, Deb, I found it in our grocery store. It was actually in the baking aisle. It was in the baking aisle where all of the uh, like seasonings, flowers, panko breadcrumbs, and all that are in. That is where I found our Ritz. So um, I would say maybe where your breadcrumbs are kept um, or your um, cracker aisle, maybe. That's what I would assume. Hello, Ellen, Ryan, Heather. So I'm doing about a teaspoon of my pink Himalayan salt. This is where all of your seasoning is going to be. So um, don't skip out if you don't want your fish to be planned. Um, if you like the way walleye tastes all on its own and you don't want it to be overpowered by the breading itself, then um, you don't need to use as much seasoning and just let the fish take over um, with the saltine crackers or Ritz crackers. Because I know a lot of people that do love, love, love the way, hello Susan, how are you? Love the way their fish tastes and they don't want to hide it, but I like hiding the way fish taste because I'm a big baby. <laughs> yes, you're welcome, Deb. Hello, how are you? Susan, how was your birthday? So I'm just going to take this, you guys, and I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Get it nice and incorporated so that when we stick our fish in here, it will be evenly distributed. You don't want any big pockets of salt or pepper in your flour. So you want to make sure just use a fork or a whisk and get it all nice and mixed up like so just to let you know i haven't got my winnings yet not sure how long it takes betty i will check on it but um i'm not sure when you won um but we are still experiencing delays in shipping but i will follow up you guys my trip was awesome i am happy to be home though thank you eileen I did not, Jason. Um, I did not soak the walleye in buttermilk. Um, I haven't heard that with fish before. I have only heard that with chicken, but I also don't cook a lot of fish. Um, but I am just following along with this recipe I found. Um, I did not have the fish until my friend Brie got here this afternoon, so I did not do any special before treatments to the fish itself. Yes, Betty, you are welcome. So we've got our flour in one. Then we, in our second container, we're going to just whisk up two eggs. Just going to crack them here and whisk them up in the dish. Just like the flour, you can use a whisk, you can use um, a fork, whatever you want to just whisk it up to make a little egg bath. Hello, Anne, Betty, Stacy, and Jen. Just mix it up, throwing eggs out the side. And these will be in the exact order that we are going to coat the fish in. So you're going to go flour, egg, and then our final um, bread 
cracker coating. Try and get my eggs out of there. Does it want to? There we go. All right. Oh, Susan, you need to order a new one. The stainless steel mini whisker. It's my favorite. Hello, Pam. How are you? Kathy and Emily. Hello, Robert. Carissa, I am so glad I bought them. The coating trays, it seems um, silly because you can obviously use any type of container, but I am really excited about this because I hate getting my hands all sticky. These fans are super handy, you guys. All right, so we've got our egg mixture in the second one. And then in the last bowl, we are gonna crush up our crackers. If you're using the prepackaged ones like I am, it also saves you some time on breaking them up. But the easiest way, you guys, is just stick your crackers in a Ziploc bag and go to town on the Ziploc bag, crushing up your crackers. Um, but that's what I also love about this mixture is they are just basically perfectly mixed um, and crushed up for you. So, super awesome. Hello, Nicole, how are you? And Gina. So we've got this, we've got our flour, our eggs, our, um, our cracker mixture. My hair is driving me insane today, you guys. I don't know why I didn't put it up and I need to be careful not to dip these into the eggs while I am doing the fish. So we've got this all ready. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our walleye, place them in the flour mixture, place them in the egg mixture, and then place them in the cracker mixture and then we are gonna put our oil in our pan, heat it up, and pan fry them. Um, yeah, food processor, blender, you guys, there's a lot of fun ways to break up crackers. I like to just stick them into, um, stick them into the bag and give them to my kids. They have the most fun with it. So get, make sure your fish is all cleaned off, no um, bones for the most part. Get your skin off of there, get them all nice cleaned up. So I am, forgetting to use my little tool you guys I haven't Susan I know you told me about the dots pretzel seasoning packs and I saw them and then I forgot to buy them you got your prize today Pam the loaf pan I'm so excited for you oh Angela you better find a recipe to use these because they are so fun um, my main thing like I said is this so we will see if this little tong tool is going to save my fingertips or if I'm gonna get sick of using it and I am going to end up using my fingers instead. So you just kind of grab it like that into the flour mixture, into the egg mixture, into the Ritz cracker, saltine cracker mixture and away we go you guys. I am excited about this. My fingers aren't dirty yet which is a huge plus. Hello Darlie, how are you? We have 87 people watching right now, so I'm going to say take a second, you guys. Leave your reaction at the bottom of the post. A heart, a thumbs up, a laughing face, a crying face, any of those faces down at the bottom. I don't care. doesn't matter how many times you push it or which one you push, but push it now, you guys, because I'm going to pull the names off for the giveaway. So if you want to get entered into the giveaway, now is your chance. I will pull the names off, and then we will do the giveaway at the end of the show. You do need to be present to win. So even if you push it now... Just make sure you don't tune out because when I call your name, I only give a couple of minutes to claim your prize before I move on to a new name. So here we go. We're going to try our best to use this little tool. <laughs> it's working well if the fish would just cooperate, but this one keeps wanting to spin on me. He's got a little spiral body or something. I blame the fish, not me. Get that nice and coated in your egg mixture. And then swap it back into your coating. I like to just kind of bury it in the sand like a dog with a bone or something. I really like to make sure I get all parts of the chicken or fish or whatever you're coating. Um, get all of those off of there. I'm going to refresh my page and pull the names. And then we will keep going with our recipe. I'm also going to take some oil and put it in my pan so that that can start heating up for us right now. Um, you want about a fourth of an inch of oil to pan fry your fish. Sorry, I'm off screen a little bit. My computer's over here. Kingston, can you be careful and not let Zuko out, please? 
Okay. Why is he going there? I have no drink. Oh boy. I'm not big on fish either, so I will be 100% honest with you guys when it comes to this recipe. Yes, gloves. My husband keeps them in stock in the drawer next to me for when we are in, in the kitchen. We are using walleye today, you guys. We are using walleye today. I am just pulling the names off. We have about 90 people being entered into the giveaway. We have started a new month, so the only there's only one person right now that can't be entered into the giveaway because it is October and she has already won, but everyone else has an opportunity to win this month. All right, so here we go. I am going to keep coating. I'm only gonna do about two more pieces of fish just because my husband's not home yet and I don't want it to get cold um, for me cooking it for him. But Brie and I are gonna enjoy our four pieces of fish. Um, we're gonna use rice as our side with some steamed veggies and hopefully it is good. Yes, you guys, walleye is a very, very mild fish. Like I said, it's not super fishy. It's not super overpowering. Um, so I'm excited to see how this Ritz cracker mixture does as far as flavoring it because it is a garlic butter Ritz crackers. I could not pick a better flavor than that. They do make regular just Ritz crackers coating if you don't want the garlic butter flavoring. So there are some options there. I'm sure at bigger grocery stores, they might have even other flavors, but that is what we have at my grocery store. I am so excited that my fingers are not all goopy yet, but this thing is super goopy, but at least it's easier to clean off than my hands. So there we go. Grab this last big piece, drop it in there. <laughs> Bree's got the giggles over here watching me. Try and coat things. You guys know coating stuff is not my specialty, but I do it for you guys. There's one spot right there that needs some crackers on it. All right, one more piece, one little guy here. I am using a paper towel and just kind of patting it before I put it in the flour. I don't know if that's normal if you're supposed to do it, but that's what I'm doing. Smoked meatloaf with Ritz crackers in it. Yum. Randy, you really like fish. When I was a kid, there was a big woman that would swim down the creek. That's the only time I would wear a bra. She would say, she would say for the minnows. That's so weird. People are so funny. The, the things that um, stick with us through childhood. Hello, Lynn, how are you? Here we go. I have tried a lot of fish in my life, you guys. My dad is all about trying new things. Um, when I was a kid, you weren't allowed to say that you didn't want to eat something unless you had tried it. Um, so I didn't try a lot of things when I was a kid, but um, my dad definitely helped me branch out. My mom didn't care as much, but my dad had me try sea urchin and all sorts of crazy stuff when I was a kid. So, there's some things I like and some things I don't, and I have learned that as an adult, that I don't like them and have tried them in adulthood, and there's some things that I didn't like as a kid and actually do like them now that I'm an adult, which is good because when I was a kid, I never ate any kind of vegetables of any kind, and now I like most of them as long as they are cooked. I like the vegetables, so. Little... You love vegetables, Kingston. You are my good eater. All right. So I just coated four pieces of our walleye. It looks delicious. I know Thelma, I am so happy to be back. You are so sweet to say that you missed me. We are here at the skillet I am using. Our oil is getting nice and warm. I'm super excited for this. Hello, Jimmy, Tabitha, Tasha, how are you guys? Yes, you're gonna make kebabs in the air fryer. Please let me know how it goes. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. My nails match my top. Hello, Denton, how are you? Yes, Susan, I can't wait to try it. Like I said, I've been so lazy at home lately that I have not been cooking all that much, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. I'll be back at my normal scheduling this week so that you guys don't have to miss me much longer. I am here. 
Yes, my dad does need to come back and share some more recipes. I was hoping he was gonna come in October, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna throw some steamed veggies into the microwave, like so. Nothing fancy, just steamed veggies, but our oil is definitely ready. I dropped some water into it and now it's crackling. So I am going to place this carefully. Oh, no, oh, maybe it wasn't ready. It sounded ready, but now the fish isn't cooking like I thought it was going to. So you're gonna wanna cook it three to four minutes on each side. Hello, Tabitha, how are you? Hello, Andrea from Canada. Hello, Lynn. Thank you, isn't it cute? A little monkey holding our bananas. They got it at the grocery store, actually. So this is, the oil's finally starting to come up to temperature. I'm gonna wait on these other ones because they don't, I know this piece will probably taste more oily than we want just because it's been sitting in there longer because the oil wasn't hot enough yet. So be very, very careful. You wanna test your oil, make sure that it's hot enough. I thought the crackling meant my oil was hot enough, but it clearly was incorrect. So I do wanna wait. And do remember the more you put in the oil, the more the temperature will go down. So you don't wanna overwhelm the oil all at once, or you will be dealing with this same effect over and over and over again, the oil cooling down too much for you to get a nice pan fry out of it. My kids um, used to be more adventurous. Uh, my, my youngest, Grayson, will eat almost anything. Uh, Kingston, one week, will absolutely love something, and 20 minutes later, decide he doesn't like it anymore. That was like today. He said he wanted wings for lunch, said how much he loves wings, can't wait to eat them, and then we made them, and he said they're not his favorite anymore, and didn't eat them for lunch. <laughs> So you win some, you lose some. Hello, Felicia, how are you? All right, our oil, I think is doing better now. So I am going to pop this piece in. There we go. That's what I wanted. So like I said, three to four minutes on each side. Once your pieces are done, you are going to um, stick them on a plate with some paper towels on it, let it soak up that extra oil, and then um, serve them with parsley, fresh lemon squeezed on them. Like I said, we're gonna do rice and steamed veggies on the side of ours. Yes, so my kids don't actually want McDonald's because they like it, they want McDonald's because they have toys. So, I should just start like, pre-packaging up toys that we already have and serving them with dinner because then they'd be excited probably um, to eat dinner if they got to have toys with it because that's the only reason why they like McDonald's is <laughs> because they like the toys not because they actually like McDonald's thank you Lorelai I am going to flip over our first piece of walleye that we put in. I did turn the temperature down a little bit now that our oil is getting up to temperature. It takes less um, heat underneath to maintain it. So flip over, look at how those are getting nice and golden brown. <laughs> yes, buddy, I'm sure we can find you one, okay? I just really don't want you near this oil, okay? Perfect, awesome toys. So like I said, it doesn't take much to maintain the heat of your oil. I'm about medium low heat right now. Um, because I am using a stainless steel pan, it will retain a lot of its heat and temperature and you do not want to overdo it. So, pasta with sausage and cucumbers. That sounds refreshing. I am excited about this, you guys. This fish looks so good. Okay, just a little bit longer and those should be nice and cooked up. I'm gonna pull them out and then put our last two pieces in and then we will do our giveaway after that. I just wanna make sure that our fish is completely cooked all the way through. Look 
looking good, looking good. My hands are still clean, you guys. Here we go. Three to four minutes on each side, you guys. Thankfully, my timer is going for my microwave, so I've been able to keep track of the time that way. They're getting nice and fried up. I'm so excited, you guys. These are actually turning out really, really well. Um, so if you just now are tuning in, we did flour, paprika, garlic powder, salt, and pepper in our first coating tray. Second coating tray, we did two eggs, just whisked up. Third coating tray, you're going to want to do saltine crackers. I'm doing Ritz crackers, garlic butter Ritz crackers that are actually pre-crumbed for me. Um, coat your walleye and then get your oil ready. You can use any kind of cooking oil. Um, I am using... Um, just pure canola oil with mine um, using a, kind of a deep pan you don't need super deep to be able to pan fry them don't need to be super big if you're just cooking for yourself just two pieces you can use a smaller skillet um, it's kind of up to you I am not using my air fryer tonight surprising I know but um, we are doing rice that I actually pre-cooked and I stuck it in my insulated serving bowl to keep it nice and warm. So we're doing some broccoli cheddar um, rice and some steamed veggies to go with our yummy pan fried walleye. Just like that. He would, Kelly. I'm hoping to make my uncle proud. He makes amazing fried walleye anytime. He comes down to Arizona and he freeze packs it for us and makes a huge fish fry when we're in Arizona and I love it. It's actually the only fish I really will ever eat is my uncle's. So I'm excited to see if this recipe actually is good for me, if I really like it or not. But if not, I will just heavily rely on my rice and vegetables as my side because I am willing to try it. But I will be honest, if it's fishy, I won't continue to eat it. <laughs> How is everyone doing? You guys, we are almost done getting ready to do our giveaway. Fish to see. Ooh, you guys, that one fell apart. Looking so good. Just another minute, I think, for these. And then we will do our giveaway. I am literally going to set a minute timer so that I don't undercook this fish. And then we will do our awesome giveaway. You guys, we are doing two giveaways today. I'm so excited. Um, thank you guys for all watching. I know Sunday is sometimes my biggest crowd, so I am excited you guys are here and hanging out with me. Um, you guys normally Sundays are for desserts and breakfast items, but my friend had some fresh walleye to cook up, so I was willing to make an exception for her. Um, I have never, Crystal, because I'm not a frequent fish eater, I don't have anything that I regularly do. Um, I probably will do a little bit of lemon on the walleye, but other than that, I'm just going to kind of let the um, Ritz garlic butter coating do its thing. I'm going to pull this oil off of my heat source, let it cool down naturally, you guys. Um, don't touch it. Don't do anything with it. To make sure your kids aren't playing around your oil. Um, it will continue to hold its um, temperature for a long time. So I don't want you guys to let your guard down with that oil. I don't want you guys to uh, burn yourselves with the oil. I'm going to slide my coating trays over, grab my computer, and we will do our giveaway. Here we go. I actually have never had hush puppies before either, which I know I'm sure a lot of you are going to be like, holy cow, Riley, where have you been? Under a rock somewhere? Um, but obviously they are commonly served at fish serving rush seafood restaurants and I don't go to those very often. So <laughs> haven't had a chance to have a good hush puppy in my life before. Um... I do, Patsy, I do need my apron on, but I didn't even think about it or find it because I didn't have one in Arizona. And for whatever reason, I just didn't think about it today. Yes, you guys are so awesome. 
We are all done with our walleye. Next time, soak it in buttermilk. Good to know. I thought that was only for chicken, but I'm excited to know that it's for fish too. Um, okay, so we have our giveaway. We have our names here. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. All right. We are going to do our giveaway. I just need to find the one name, see if she's watching tonight. She is not. So, we should be good to go. As far as winners go, if you guys are new here, just make sure that you tune in at the beginning of the show. That's when I pull our names for the giveaway is towards the middle of the show. And then I do my giveaway at the end so that um, we can make this as fair as possible. Um, it is completely random. There is no way to secretly win Somehow, um, it, I use a random name generator, which actually um, even in itself is random, but then I also have someone in the viewing crowd pick my numbers for me, which also keeps it more random because then I'm not picking the numbers and it's not the first two names that are pulled or anything like that. I try to keep it as fair as possible for everyone. I know there's been a lot of people that have watched for a long time and have never won, and I appreciate you guys watching and supporting me, even though um, my games aren't as giving as I'd hoped they would be, or um, some people just have amazing luck, which is great and awesome, and I wish I had that kind of luck, and you guys need to start playing the lottery, because then you guys would win some big bucks. Okay. I think I have sorted through all the names. I needed to make sure that we didn't have any um, any repeats and that we did not have any, um, when I pull your guys' names off, it pulls off how many mutual friends we have. And so I wanted to make sure I didn't have any of those random things in there for our giveaway. So here we are. Haddock, you like that? Fried. Hello, Jessica. How are you? Long John Silvers and Vendicamp are the only fish I eat. I've, actually, we don't have either of those places here. Jesse, um, unfortunately, yes, you probably did join too late for the giveaway, but please watch on Tuesday and maybe you can win um, that night. Thank you, Heather. Yes, you guys, it does smell really good in here. Yeah, Brie wants this fish. I need to bring this plate over to her. Um, can I get um, Lynn Luke's? Will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12 for me, please? Pick new two numbers between 1 and 12. We've got our veggies that are ready. Well, Lynn Luke's. I only want Lynn to pick the numbers for me. I just did that all over my keyboard, you guys. The steamed veggies just went all over my keyboard. Um, Lynn Lukes is going to pick our two numbers for us. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, we usually go to Minnesota because usually there's a Vikings game around that same week. But um, with COVID and everything, there won't be. So I might do Thanksgiving here or we might go to Minnesota. All right, just waiting on Lynn, six and nine. So the numbers um, correlate to the names. So the sixth name I pull and the ninth name I pull will be our winners as long as they are present and accounted for. The second you see your name pulled, um, if you are number six or number nine, make sure you comment right away that you are here and watching. Once I pull your name, I do remove it so that it cannot be pulled twice. Number one number two, number three, number four, number five, and our first winner, Jessica Hovda. Congratulations, Jessica. If you're still watching, make sure you comment. Does Brie Brie ever make an appearance? She is now. Hello. That is Brie. That is my best friend. 
she um, secretly is always here, you guys. I don't think I've done a cooking show without her in a long time. Um, Jessica, make sure you comment if you are here. Number seven, eight. Oh, Lynn, you are so close. Janet Looper, are you watching? Number nine is Janet Looper. Jessica Hovda and Janet Looper, please comment if you are watching. Make sure you comment if you are watching. If they are not here, you guys, in two minutes, I will pull two more names. I will start a timer so that I don't forget. Um, Jessica Hovda is here, so now we're just waiting for Janet Looper, and here she is. Awesome, you guys. You guys know the drill. First names, last names, email, phone number, address. Um, email address, phone number, that's it. First name, last name, email address, phone number, and I will get a giveaway prize sent off to you. Um, Jessica, since you um, live in town, actually I have a ton of Pampered Chef stuff at my house. So if you have something in mind that you would like, um, please uh, message me and we can figure out if I have it in stock and if it's within the price range for my giveaways so that you don't have to wait the ship time. Janet, send me your shipping information. Congratulations, you guys, for winning. Brie is over here munching away on this walleye piece, so I would say that it's good. So good. <laughs> um, I can't wait to dive in. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.